Hey, and welcome to this month's Power Pack expert interview. Today, I'm interviewing Sylvia Otvos. If you haven't met Sylvia yet, she's the lead coach for Power Up Your Business. She and I are co-facilitating the program, and she is also the owner of Rock the Cradle. When I first met Sylvia, she was a solopreneur in that she was the one doula behind Rock the Cradle. She now has a team of, is it six or eight? Five. Five. Five yes. doulas that work with her in Rock the Cradle and service the uh, Montreal area of Canada with plans to expand across the country, which is really exciting. One of the things that Sylvia is really, really good at is loving on her women. Now, Sylvia, you work in a very high intimacy uh, capacity with the women who you serve. Yes, I like the way you said that. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's not everywhere that we can, you know, talk about vaginas. All <laughs> like the time, every day. Can I say that here? Can I say that word here? Oh, look, you're among friends and you're among ladies. I remember one of your yeah. first products that you put out was a perineum spray. Is that yes. right? Oh yes, yes, for afterbirth. Those that we had. We did, yep. But, exactly. you know, in order to be in that type of business, Sylvia, there is a fine line that you're walking. And people have to trust you implicitly before they say yes to working with you. How were you able to, or how are you able to continue attracting and building that relationship of trust with the women who hire you? Hmm. That's a really good question, and, and it's a bit different, I would say, in the doula business uh, uh, compared to other businesses I've seen, like maybe my coaching business. Uh, the actual, when you're meeting a prospect for the first time, I mean, I will do a phone call first to just see if they're, the, you know, somewhat the right fit to start off, but we do do an in-person uh, meet and greet, and, and that's quite the standard in this field, and I think that is one of the key components where you are building that trust Right. with them in such a vulnerable relationship and, a, you know, a going through birth. I mean, how, you know, intimate can that be, like you were saying? So that is a, one of the key places. And I think for me, uh, who is not shy, for me, that has been able, like, I, my, my closing rate is quite high uh, because of that. Right. So for potential clients is building that trust, uh, connecting with them, uh, maybe on one or two points, uh, seeing where we have what we have in common. Uh, you know, I don't go right into uh, the birth and what that's going to look like. It's really like we're setting the stage, a bit of chit chat, uh, and getting to know them. Really, like like friends almost. I love yeah. that, and I think that that can be so transferable to other businesses. So for you, and yes. you know, I don't know if you've seen me talk about it, but we talk about your, you know, your your attraction, your marketing's up here. This is your sell point. Here's your product. We all have a sell point in our business, and so we have different marketing avenues that lead to it. And yours is one that's highly personal in that sales mm -hmm. point. And I think that the, the larger packages that a service owner, a service-based business owner offers, there has to be that personal exchange. And so one of the things that I teach people to do is to get people onto a call so they can actually get to know you and you can get to know them and you can figure out yeah. if they're a good fit. Sylvia, when it comes time to connecting with your women, what is it that you want your people to feel? What is sort of part of your brand? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're, of course, professional. Uh, we are dealing with lots of uh, caregivers, whether they be midwives and doctors, and we're entering their homes. So that's one of the questions a lot of people ask is how do we, how are we portrayed going to these various births because uh, they're bringing us as a guest. Uh, and so I would say professional, but we also want them to feel safe. That's my number one. You know, they're, they're giving birth. We want them to feel safe and not have all of that adrenaline, fight or flight and want to flee. Uh, feeling loved yeah. and feeling able that they've got this, you yeah. know, to be able to let go and bring out that birth warrior in them, you know. and, the and uh, <laughs> I love that. The power of positive birth. The birth power warrior. of positive birth. And that's what we're all about. And it's really bringing them and and providing them, you know, lots of information so that they make the right decisions for them. But that takes a while to get to that place. You know, not everybody's there when we meet them. Right. And that's, you know, it's feel that feeling of safety, that feeling that, 
I've been there. I have three kids. I've birthed. I, I, I know what you're going through. I really do. And uh, not that you need to be, have children to be a doula, not at all. But in our case, in my team's case, we all have kids and that's helped us uh, build that rapport. Yes. So once one of the, what we're building this month is our standard operating procedure for our client enrollment. Yeah. When somebody says yes, when one of your new moms says yes, how do you instill that trust and the confidence and the sense of professionalism leading up to the time that you deliver, meaning, like yeah. literally, meaning uh, in the fulfillment phase, when you're actually at the birth? How do you nurture that along the way? Well, my number one, after a client says, uh, you know, potential client says, yes, I want to work with you. I want to make it as easy as possible for them. Uh, and I have just gone online for everything now. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we're, you know, if we're talking standard procedures, you know, yeah. online contract, online invoice, uh, electronic payments. By how many times? Uh, I'm so bothered by the times that people say, no, sorry, I don't take credit cards uh, or I'm going to charge you that fee. And I'm like, you're not even it's supposed to charge me that fee. It's supposed to be easy. And nowadays, I work with millennials. They are, they're not, they, they don't know what a check is. Many of them don't, you know, I don't want to generalize, but a lot, I've had clients who say, I, I, I got checks just for you. So when, when that started happening, I was like, oh, okay, I'm dating myself, but uh, easy, make it easy for them. A questionnaire that they can just fill online, press send. Mm -hmm. And then over the relationship, you know, I will uh, if I have six months in front of me, well, a little, you know, cuckoo, how's it going? How's your appointments with your doctor uh, or your midwife? How are you feeling? Do you need anything from me? Like, uh, you know, I know pregnancy is up and down emotionally. So you might get them on a day where they're not feeling that great. And just reaching out to them makes them feel that safety again and that we've got their back. Yeah. I think any, any field, a client, you want, you want your supplier, you know, you, when you hire someone, you want them, you want to feel that they've got your back. Yeah, really. for they sure. really so do, I love, that they know what you need. Yeah. So I love what you're saying. So part of what I've heard you say, and I think is so applicable, is to make each step super easy. Yeah. And I think you're right. We do live in a mobile world, and it's quite, uh, I don't want to say it's easy, but there are lots of softwares that are available to help with the process. So, yeah. you know, every touch, one of, the, one of the systems that I've shared is when someone says yes to then send them a contract or an agreement. That can all be signed online. Then it returns. Yeah. Then the invoice. Then you get paid. All of this can be seamless through various softwares or modalities that are available online, and it's researching the ones that fit for you. Yes, exactly. The other thing that I heard you say is it's personal. Yeah, and that's what I want to jump into because you've said if they've booked me and their birth is six months out, you're going to make a point of personally reaching out along the way so that you stay front of mind and remind them that they're cared that we're there that we're there. Yeah, not just, you know, I know my delivery might be or their delivery. <laughs> Our deliverables are coming in, you know, May. But I don't want to wait just until before the birth to catch up with them because then you're losing out on creating such uh, profound bonds. Mm -hmm. And really, by the time my clients, by the time the birth comes, uh, we're very close. That being said, I've had clients hire me a week before uh, their birth. And I can, you know, get into a nice relationship and a profound one too, you know, for their delivery, right. uh, and which, is, which is amazing. And you don't see that all the time. Uh, it is truly lovely, but I, I totally agree with you seamlessly uh, that that personal connection, no matter what we do, so important. I, I, I'm very hard on my suppliers, they will tell you, and I can feel frustration sometimes when I don't feel I'm getting that, that connection. For me, it's super important. I love that. And I think you're not... I think you're not alone in that. I think in this day and age, you know, we've made such a shift away from the people side of business and we're really, you know, so automated and so impersonal. And I think that is a huge differentiator that we all could be connecting with. Let's talk about some other enrollment systems that you've seen. I, I, I We are both course junkies. Yeah. Um, I remember signing up for one online course and I love their onboarding system. And let me just talk you through it and then I'd love for you to share one of your experiences. I signed up for the course, said yes, put in my credit card details, off it went. I came back and the payment, the receipt had the funniest 
letter attached to it where I just started giggling and it was all about yay you you know you've signed up for this course you're amazing but here's the thing you have to finish it and she set this tone right away and then put some structures in place you know she's like I expect to see you on Facebook on this day I'm going to be hunting you down if you don't show up to this and all of a sudden here's this mass online course but she has totally personalized it to the person receiving it and it made nice. me feel seen and yeah. cared for and it was that little touch to the enrollment process that I thought was so fun and it was right on brand for her I mean that is how she communicates in all mm -hmm. her emails Lovely. all of her attractions what attracted me to her and then you know out came the contract and I was you know waiting for this five page contract all legal uh -uh. are you going to show up for the calls yes no um, <laughs> do you agree to pay me every month if not I'm yes. going to send someone into caps. yes no like it was but it was a binding contract. But it yeah, was the importance of copy. Brand. Yeah, right. The copy, and not everyone's copy is going to be like oh, that, no. depending what you do. But um, we've seen all types. Uh, but really, uh, knowing your brand and knowing your voice, uh, certain people wouldn't be able to pull that off, and Agreed. others Agreed. will. I think it, uh, and I think that's being true to yourself because people will know when that's when that's coming out wrong like they'll say oh Sylvia doesn't really talk like that you know she wouldn't but you know when it is you when you talk always talk how you would talk really in your copy and I think copywriters would, would tell you that I agree yeah. too I love that yeah. point thanks for that yeah authentic yeah because if you're and, not one of those don't yeah. do it yeah, or sometimes if you're not one, but you can surprise people sometimes with a little jolting, right? You know, like we were saying, if you're used to doing blogs, well, maybe do a video one time and, ooh, there she is, and then maybe go back to blogs afterwards or whatnot, but changing it up a little bit, venturing out of your control, out of your comfort zone, uh, I think is uh, is important, even when we're talking, you know, coffee like this. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh, I call that surprise and delight. Have you yes. ever received a surprise and delight from anything that you've bought? Have you ever experienced that in your Well, I think little gifts. I, I li Receiving some little gifts. Uh, I know you're a big fan of books, yeah, which okay. I always love uh, receiving. And they've always, you know, they're always great books, uh, Sheila, <laughs> the ones you pick on your roster. Uh, my graphic designer sends me little things that she's created uh, once in a while, which is which is lovely. Uh, oh, a woman who writes copy sent me a lovely little uh, a lovely cup that I that I love to use. And oh no, it's, it's those little surprises, yeah. those little surprises, yeah. Or even um, a little video or a little audio clip. Hey Sylvia, how's it going? Rather than just that standard email. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, she sent me a, a, a recorded, you know, a recorded, something recorded is great. So let me listen to that. That's different. And, and I'd love to challenge the power-ups to be thinking about what are some of the little things that they can do in their business that do offer that surprise and delight and make, mm -hmm. you know, what can you do to make your customers feel special or feel like you, it's personal? Because it yeah. is, we're in the people business, something that they're not expecting, you know, to remind them of how, you know, appreciative you are of them. And I think it's important to note that it doesn't have to be something material. Tangible. Oh, oh no. It's no, 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 not at all. Here. Like a shout yes. out on social media is yes, or, just as valuable. Or I, I'm, you know, I work, I'm working with an end of life doula and right. there was oh, a, no. a, a CBC uh, show on it on, uh, I don't know, Radio Noon here in Montreal. And I went and got the clipping and I said, you know, I sent it to her and I said, I said oh, I thought of you when, uh, isn't this great? They're talking about what you're doing and here it is. And she's like, ah, oh, thanks. I didn't even know that was happening. And just to keep, you know, always a, a foot ahead. You yeah. Know? And you're in their minds and they'll be in your minds. And it's, it's just, again, creates that relationship. I love yeah. that loving on yeah. your client. Oh, some, yeah. some power ups are product sellers. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had an experience or do you do anything with your products through that sale? Like once you've made the sale, how do you sort of reinforce that buying decision? What do you do to keep in touch? Well, we made our product line started maybe in reverse. I was okay. looking for a gift to gift my clients at the end of birth. I like, what do they, what does everybody need? Everybody needs a perineum spray, right. <laughs> you know, after giving birth. Of course. So <laughs> let's make one. And uh, we made one uh, for the perineum. And then we said, well, some people have a cesarean birth. So let's make a spray for once they heal uh, to reconnect with their belly. So we have these two products. 
uh, that we give out as gifts, a smaller version, uh, you know, a trial size for our clients. And if they want more, they can give them, uh, they can buy another, another bottle. Uh, so that's how our product line started. Uh, and we have ideas for a whole bunch of other ones now, a baby bottom cream uh, for diaper rash, a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's, a lot, it's lots of that's fun. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So when someone orders it, yes. tell me then what happens next. Because one of the things, you know, for those who sell products, we've got to create that enrollment process for their new buyers. Yes, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, besides, I, I, you know, special packaging, sending it out, yes. I write a handwritten note to them, thank you so much, this is great, thanks, for, you know, it comes in a little bag, I've got stickers with the logo on it, a little yeah. card from me, uh, wishing you a wonderful birth. Uh, I like to get to know where the, when their due date is, so that when they've given birth, I can say, cuckoo, I would love to know how your birth was, so I'd send me a picture of your baby. How did you like the spray? Yeah. Get a uh, testimony from them that I can then share online. Uh, you know, so it, and then keep them. My, um, what we were talking, Sheila, before we got online is my client base may not come back to me for another two years. <laughs> so right. that is my, that is my uh, challenge. Challenge yeah. in, in signing up new clients is that I'm always signing up new clients, right? Um, and especially with that product as well. It's not something that they're going to use for six months. It's a really short term, two week, you know, span. So we each have our own challenges. Those are mine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. keeping it again, you know, congratulations on your birth. I'd love to see the pictures. Signing, I, you know, following them on social media is a big one as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love that. And then just sort of being a part of that journey. Um, mm. With Productive, when I send it out, I also do the handwritten card. If I have yes. spare stickers, I'll just throw in a sticker pack sometimes. Uh, it depends what I have for supply. Um, well, then, I loved your, uh, sorry, I'm cutting you off, but yeah, do, I have a, do I have a copy here of your Kegel stickers? <laughs> yeah, that in? was from Kegel. And I was like, oh, I need those Kegel stickers for my own clients. That was so good. I love you. Do you know how many going. people commented? They Out like, of all the stickers, those are like the best oh. ones, right? Oh. I mean, January, February, March, April, but Kegels. <laughs> do your Kegels every day. Yeah, I'm a huge component of, uh, proponent of uh, women's health, particularly pelvic health, and Kim was yes. the perfect person to work on those oh, with and yes. you know she's got Lovely. great programs so I love standing behind yeah. her yeah. Um, yeah the handwritten note and then inviting people into my community so that I yes. can check in with them yes, you know, how to go you've had your planner for a week you know have you got it going if not here's the training you yeah know? I have a Facebook group and come and join now that you've had your baby come and join your trials and your tribulations and challenges and and you know your great mommy uh, mm -hmm. hacks with us on the you know, our Facebook group, and I love to see them there and the exchange, and they need that. Uh, the new moms, uh, it's so important. You know, that offers so much value in so many different ways to the enrollment process. Number one, it lets them feel a part of something that's larger than them, yeah. and there is the united front, and it allows you to love on them so that when they do have that next baby, you'll be front of mind because you've been a part of yes. the journey the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, particularly the doula clients, uh, perhaps more so than just the product clients. I mean, once they've had the experience of a, of a doula, uh, we're part of their family. I mean, uh, uh, there's a client now, uh, I'll be working with her third baby now. I've been there for all three of her babies. Well, I may not talk to her much in between, but, you know, we ex I see her on different Facebook groups. I comment on her things. She comments on mine. She's part of the group. And uh, I see the, the birthday pictures and... Uh, I also send a, a first day birthday card to, uh, to them oh, uh, nice. to, to congratulate them for one year as well for having given birth to their, their child as well. A Mother's Day card, uh, all you know, virtual, they're, they're, they're electronic, but still people, you know, I say, I remember your birth, I'm remembering it like it was yesterday. How are you? You know, enjoy the celebrations and just, you know, those touch points throughout the year. So that when, after that year comes by, when a lot of people are getting pregnant again, you are still uh, in, you know, in their thoughts. Sure. Yeah. You know, the biggest takeaway that I think I have from our conversation is that whole idea that it's in our power to make this personal and that we are in the people business and we just need to have fun and love yeah. on our people and that yeah. gratitude and staying top yeah. of mind and being appreciative for them and continually being in touch, you know, 
once we've got that enrollment process on, I think that's a real opportunity that I think we sometimes forget because we're so yeah. focused on getting some new clients. Yes, 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 for sure. But they say it's so much easier to, you know, retain our clients, our actual clients, than find new ones. So it's, uh, oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's such an important part, such an important part. And, and I love getting those calls back from, you know, clients who said, oh, I'm, I'm pregnant again, Sylvia, yes. can you be my doula? <laughs> You know? That's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's very heartwarming. And then they're like, oh, my God, you're pregnant for the third time. Yes, I'll be there. I've been doing this long enough now. <laughs> it's, yeah. It, and it's a testimony to how we run our business and the services that we offer. And also referrals. Uh, if you, you know, you give all that love and then they're like, oh, I was referred by my friend so-and-so. And I'd love to have you as my doula or someone from your team. And that, that's, that, you know, that's such a, that, that's amazing, an amazing feeling. Yeah. So it's it's how we make people feel that's going to help them yes. remake a buying decision and also make that buying decision in the first place. And so just to sort of pull it all together, yeah. it's up to us to build the relationship ahead of time. They say yes. Through that whole client enrollment process, we want it to be as seamless and simple as possible, make it as easy for them, and also make it personal. Let them be seen, let them be heard, and then from then, just love on them. Even if they yeah. finished with your business, they will always have been a part of it. And so, Power Ups, I'm going to challenge you to build out your uh, standard operating procedure on your client enrollment. Go in and I've given you a couple ideas of what it could look like, but I've also included a blank sheet where you can build your own and then let's standardize and add as many details as possible because eventually it might not be you who's onboarding your clients. Mm -hmm. Sylvia, thanks for sharing with us today. Oh, my pleasure. You yeah. in the Facebook group yes. and on the next couple of calls. Ed, we'll talk to you soon. Definitely. Great. Bye-bye.